You were born in Mission Hills. Yes. Right? So wh tell me about Mission Hills. Like, what, what kind of place was it growing up? You know what? At that time, we grew up in a track home. And my grandmother um, and my grandfather bought this house that was $18,000. But, you know, my grandparents worked really hard. And, you know, they were raising me because my mother wasn't mentally capable or capable overall to, to, to raise a child. So they weren't the most hands-on or connected. I think they figured if they kept you safe, that was them doing their job. So I struggled a lot emotionally and, and you know, I was never really comfortable in my own skin. And, you know, it's funny that in, in finding humor or acting out around people I was comfortable with, I, I wouldn't say that it saved me, but it just gave me something that not my friends didn't have i had fun with stuff that they didn't because their family life was great but also you know i spent a lot of time daydreaming and using my imagination and and finding things to 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 occupy my, my time well how would you describe your grandmother as a guardian as a you know my a... grandmother I, I you know my grandmother never enjoyed herself because she always worried about everything and it inhibited her from enjoying her life. She was abused by her first husband for 19 years. Mm -hmm. And in growing up, she would tell that story like a badge of honor, like, like, it was, like she was proud of it. Mm -hmm. And then when I got older, I said, you know, wh why didn't you leave? Where was I supposed to go? To the Bahamas? You know, it's, it's like, no, just leave. Yeah. So, you know, I came from an abusive background, a lot of alcohol abuse, and a lot of, not, a lot of respect for, for women. Did you ever have any relationship with your mom and dad? Well, I never knew my father, which I'm a little bit thankful, I, I, I think, you know. Um, you know, I believe that every child uh, needs a, a father. And, uh, you know, I've had my own issues with my daughter that we're starting to reconnect now, and, and it's just so meaningful as a parent and, and, and meaningful to a child. And my father left when when I was two months old. So when mine was two months, I was living in a condo and I remember standing at the door jam, looking at her sleep and thinking, how in the hell can somebody leave a child when they're this young? Just turn your back and never come back. And at that point, you know, I, I made a vow to become a good father. You know, I haven't been the best father, but you know, as long as you, you're alive, there's always hope for change. So I, I'm becoming better.